All right, so first thing you want to do is power this thing up, connect it to your monitor. I'm just using a old foam plug, and I just got it all rigged up here on my vise. But anyways, because you want to orient the camera. So on mine, the way it's defaultly inserted, there is a slight little notch. You can kind of see right there, and that's where the wire comes out. So if when you put it on the car... So you might need to flip the camera over depending on if you want the wire to come out on the top or the bottom. What I'm going to do on the bus is have it come out the top and then go through the license plate light so I don't have to drill a hole in the deck lid. So now I know. But if you need to flip it over, you just undo these screws and flip over the camera and install it that way. So you can see it works pretty good. It's not 1080p or anything, but hey, if it helps you from... Uh, not smashing in the corners of your car anymore. It's good to go. Here's the bigger of the two options I use. 7 inch TFT. It's got these spring clips to fit over your rear view mirror if you want to do that. I don't really of course want to block the rear view mirror. I have the camera on all the time. So you can either take this all the way apart and take those off or just cut them or break them off. And then I mount it on the visor so you can flip it up and not see it. So got it mostly installed. I went to run my wires through my license plate right, and of course the screws are rusted and stripped, so I just kind of got it set in here for now. What I usually do on these type of installs is run the power wire to the park light, so that way I can hit the park light and use the camera while I'm driving and not have to wire it to the reverse lights, which I don't have any of those either. So it'll be a little difficult, or a toggle switch or something like that. I just think it's easier to hit it to the, the park light than when you're driving, just put the park light on so you can see backwards. And then my vintage plate, I can run legally here. I'll probably move the camera down here. Or They sell some smaller cameras that I could actually put up here in the recess. It's like for late model GTIs. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet, but I just made this video to give you guys some ideas. And uh, Like always, links will be in the description. So let's take a look at the screen. Don't let what I'm working on... I discourage you. Of course, this can be applied to any old vehicle, any vehicle, really. I used to have one of these similar setups zip tied to the visor on my O2 F350 just to uh, keep from cutting the dash up, you know. So, convertible bug, bay window, camper. I'm thinking about putting one on the back and daisy chaining it so that way I can really see what I'm backing up without crashing anything. So, yeah, just apply these principles, and like I said, all this stuff is cheap, and I'll have links in the description for you. So here's the TFT I have zip-tied at the visor. I couldn't find my white, off-white zip-ties to match the visor, but you can always do that later. However you want to do it, I've got it wired power on all the time when the headlights are on. It actually is like back-feeding all the way up here. So there's a power button. Tap that. There you go. Can see all my junk back there it's got two video sources if you want to put a camera somewhere else like maybe up front or someone in the back pointing or it's rca so if you got an old school vcr and you want to haul that around with you that'd be pretty cool right yeah okay whatever and then turn it off i need to secure my wire up here maybe tuck it in the rubber or something and then once it's up of course my visor is a piece of crap but once i get new ones it'll tuck right up there you'll barely even see it now i will show you the other monitor i use sometimes also also forgot to say this one has a full menu and a remote and you can also flip the screen so if you want to put it upside down or you've accidentally put the camera on upside down or something like that you can actually flip the image on there as well so here's the other one you saw me use it for the uh Initial power up video, there's some buttons for the menu. So what I like to do with these is actually mount it upside down. And if the, I can't remember if this model, you can flip the image or not, I'll have to try. If not, just swing this all the way around the other side, but actually mount it upside down under the dash. Of course, double-sided tape ain't gonna hold it. You have to use screws or a big magnet. And then ideally, I'm gonna use a hinge so I can fold it up and you won't see it and then pull it down for backing up. Put it back up, if that makes sense. So here's what I rigged up, just stuff I had laying around. A magnet clamp for welding ground, 
a hinge from the house junk drawer and just a couple screws. Like I said, it needs to be reinforced and all that. Uh, it's just to make sure it will work. And the spring inside there also uh, gives the spring back for a return. Slap it on the toolbox. Does it work? Yeah, that'd be sweet. Get a bigger hinge or weld some more meat on there. Uh, maybe a heavier magnet if this doesn't survive the uh, jump in the railroad tracks. A hundred uh, tests. Well, let's give it a try. All right, just for filming purposes, I threw it on this side so I could reach it easier. Got it turned on. Let's pull it down. And my camera ain't gonna focus, but you can see. There you go. There it goes. Throw it up. Yeah, I might need a little bit stronger magnet. Maybe a 300 pounder or something like that, but concept works anyway, so I'll put some links in the description. It might help you uh, get some ideas, and you can see that would work with a little more uh, effort. Like I said, you see most of my other videos is just to give you some ideas and not do a complete 300% play-by-play. You know, maybe a bigger hinge from a gate or something like that with a spring. And then, uh, like I said, 300 pound magnet maybe. I don't know what pound that is because it's for a welding lead, so it's probably not crazy strong. But I'll put some links and uh, hopefully this gives you some ideas. Take it easy.